Welcome. So far, so good. Yeah. Good. Paul here, Music Villa, downtown Bozeman, Montana. I'm with Quentin King, and uh, it's just you know zoning out on that nice little yeah, it feels little like that intro. Kind of day, yeah, you know? it does oh, feel like so that. So we kind just of had day. Cinco de Mayo. I was thinking, you know, yeah, some of the little Spanishy flair. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to think of something. Yeah. One of those old kind of cowboy south of the border type songs. Well, speaking of cowboy, this yeah. is something you would kind of play at a campfire. These oh, for are sure. For sure. the Martin Dread Juniors. Mm -hmm. Okay, these have been out, oh, I don't know, for quite a while now. For a while. But yeah. these are now redone a little bit. So they've got this nice. Uh, as a uh, performing artist taper neck, mm -hmm. it's got kind nice of a feel. satin finish, mm -hmm. nice feel. This is Sepele back and sides, Sitka spruce top, okay? Comes in a sunburst finish, also a natural finish, mm -hmm. or the all Sepele. We've done these before, we've, uh, you know, now they're, they've actually made them a little bit thinner, so it's like it a triple O feel, body shape, yeah. It does feel of, comfortable. Yep, the other I ones mean, were a little thicker. It's bigger than a travel guitar. Yes. Right, substantial, so it feels like you're playing a real guitar, but it just feels compact, yep. uh, very comfortable. And I'm sure you're gonna get to this, I see some wires hanging yep. down. With or without a pickup, mm -hmm. any model, you can get with electronics. And Monel strings, you notice that? Yeah, I did notice. I mean, they're smooth, they're lighter. Yeah. Uh, they feel, and the, they feel, it's hard to describe what I'm hearing in the room as far as tone. Uh, you know, how much is the strings versus the body yeah. shape and the woods in the guitar. But So I can play it nice and quiet. And, you know, we've had some discussion about where my pick placement is yeah. back behind the sound hole or in front of it. Sure. Because it's smaller, my arm just naturally reaches right over top of the... The sound hole, so yeah. it's going to maybe have a warmer sound when I'm playing this. One. But with these strings, it's kind of smooth tone. Plays very, very easily, and uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say other than that. It's this cool. is, like you said, I think this is a great guitar for someone who doesn't want to take the primary, yeah, you know, uh, main gigging instrument out into yeah. an environment that poses certain risks, you know, camping, outdoors, that sort of thing. Totally. But it's still got plenty of volume yep. to, to do a campfire sing-along. Yeah. And dare I say, even some folks, you know, you could get the, what, Ed Sheeran? Ed Sheeran. Who play He trail. plays the smaller one. The smaller he one. He plays so, the the baby Martin, the, yeah. the smallest As one they make. Primary yeah, that's his main guitar. Yeah, so, so this is one bigger than the, the, the little Martin, they call it, than the Dread Jr. Okay, and mm -hmm. then it goes to regular, you know, the regular standard, regular series, standard yeah, scale yeah, lengths and all that. But so it, you know I would still consider this a travel guitar, like or a couch it's guitar. It's kind of an everyday it's guitar. It's definitely smaller than than the full size thing. But you know, I, it's it's one of those. Um, I I don't want to say compromise, but maybe that's the fairest word because mm -hmm. you're getting advantages. You're getting some pros like compact. It's easy to play. If you were a smaller statured person, this would be a great guitar. Or if you're learning you're a younger person yeah. um, and the longer neck is difficult or the wider necks are difficult great uh, guitar for you it's uh, you know on board electronics but yeah. but of course because you're not getting the bigger body you are sacrificing certain uh, depth of tone oh yeah you know so but that's yeah. that's you know for some folks that's just a totally well, reasonable trail and it's just you know find everyone who buys these they always come back and say that's my go-to guitar yeah because it's accessible it's on the couch all the time so mm -hmm. they may go take their other guitar to a gig but they play this thing more than anything now because it's so accessible right but but and that's I, it so let me yeah. i'll go over a quick go ahead. couple things a little bit thinner on these new ones mm -hmm. the monel strings uh the neck shape the satin finish they did a new rosette as well mm -hmm. and the bag is really nice the travel bag is really nice for these so what we'll do is uh we'll have you Maybe uh, go, yeah, we'll just go around. through. You know, we'll kind of compare them all. It's just they're just different, and each, mm -hmm. you know, these obviously should be very close because they're the same guitar, different uh, finish. Mm -hmm. Then we'll do another video. We'll compare these with the Taylor GS Mini, the little Guild Mini, and we'll just we see do, what happens. Do the minis, not yeah. the not yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sound good? <laughs> Sounds All good. Right. Sounds cool. good. This thing's fun. It's always difficult. Uh, people are like, man, I wish it's so rude when he plays when Paul's talking and. And I'm you usually know, talking. For the guitar players out there, I don't know. Hopefully you can sympathize that when something is in my lap, I'm not even thinking about it. My hands are already moving into chord shapes. I'm just, I want, doesn't matter what it is. If it's got strings, I want to, yeah. I want to strum on it. You so. do. Cool. Well, Quentin. Yeah.
thanks again. Oh, one one quick note. I just yes. want to point out uh, we we did the the video where we reviewed my guitar. Yeah. And we, I think we got a really nice response. Thanks to everybody who, who watched and commented. Yeah. Uh, really appreciate the comments, the questions. What we really appreciate, as we consistently say, uh, we're s slightly above a fly-by-night operation. Mm -hmm. You know, we're kind of winging yeah. it. Yeah. And uh, during You're the, giving away all our tricks here. I know. Well, yeah. there's, as I'm saying that we don't have any tricks. It's right. just this is, True. This is what you see is what you get. But uh, during that, I, I gave a, uh, a story that I had heard about my guitar. The guitar I have has a large sound hole based on a Tony Rice guitar that he got from Clarence White. And it provided this, this story, and I'm not even sure where I heard it from. Right. But uh, a, a viewer, a watcher, and I apologize, I can't remember the name, but yeah. if you go in the comments, provided uh, a correction to that story, and it provided a great resource from Fretboard Journal, which traces that specific ah, guitar. Very it's, cool. So two points. First is we love, we say things, we're not always 100% correct. We don't, there's no guarantees or warranties with you know, the information Very we true. share. So uh, really appreciate those viewers that can come in and, and uh, correct uh, misstatements we might have or add information. It's, uh, I love the yeah. sense that I learned something yeah. from a comment. Uh, yes. So it feels a bit like it sounds a like he, it was a very nice comment. No, not, it was great. It was not, and, you know trashing you for not knowing your story, but right. <laughs> right. But it, it yeah. actually provided the resource to correct it to share with everybody who might be interested. So cool. appreciate that very much. Keep those comments and you know, those constructive criticisms coming because we're always looking for ways to to improve. Yeah. So thanks again for that. All right. Perfect. Thanks, Quentin. You bet. See y'all soon. Mm -hmm.